I don't think I'd ever found myself filming a video intro with two fallow bucks behind me fighting and about 80 animals on a deer lek. But here I am. If you want to see how this week unfolds, stick around. just trying to get into position on this knoll before it becomes daylight. Wish us luck. It's an absolute ghost town this morning. There's fellow croaking off on the next hills over, but down under where we are, absolutely nothing, which is really strange for them to be so quiet at this time of year. We'll just have to keep going and see if we pick something up. Got him pretty tight on that guy, about 15 metres around a spiker thrash in a bush as well. But again, not a shooter. That little scrape, bugger's digging a gravel quarry. He's just chasing that spider.
one deer down. Awesome. Let's go and check him out. He's on the deck, mate. He roll it. Awesome little morning. We've walked into this spot. We've had all these deer down under us. We've watched them for nearly an hour, which has been really cool. As you can see by the size of that scrape, going absolutely nowhere this guy was. So in the end, we decided to take him. There's already more deer coming in. Let's continue. Put a layer of fat on him. Autumn now in Australia, we're in the start of April, and it's the deer rut we're specifically chasing fallow deer, but reds are a bonus. This has always been my passion. Those of you guys that follow the channel, yes, I do a lot of vertebrate pest control, contract shooting, thermals, crop protection, livestock protection, all that sort of stuff, but this trip, no. We're just out in daylight hours, ground stalking these animals, trying to get a few big bucks on the deck while they're in the area. We've just glassed up down here about 10 does. Three bucks, uh, one's only a shitter. One's really small but mature, and one really nice head. The interesting thing was, the better head was the one that was getting chased off, so they've all just torn off down through the timber there. We'll uh, head that way and see if we can pick up again. Plenty of deer around this morning, but we can't seem to find any big heads. We'll just have to keep looking though. Bloody tiger pair. There's a heap of it in here. I haven't managed to jam myself with it yet, but probably will.
middle of the day, most of the deer are bedded up. So we're gonna back out to the car, get some lunch and continue this afternoon. Look at this poor bastard, tangled up in the fence. That'd be a shitty way to die. Just sat down in the shade. We're gonna have some lunch, let things settle down, and then try and get in there. Bloody hell, talk about go to woe. We have just had about a hundred plus deer come across the valley, mewing the whole way, straight in on me. I've had them right around me, couldn't do a bloody thing. I'm sitting here with this camera pointed in the wrong direction and I was not going to move at all. Most of them are down beneath me at the moment. Yeah, there's another group running in from the left just now. Um, yeah, we're not quite sure what to do. There's a buck herding his days around, but no big heads at the moment. Just lots of animals. When we got here, it was dead. There was about six bucks and that was it. But now, everything's just come flooding in in about five minutes. You wouldn't believe it, this whole face down here is now empty of deer, bar that one buck that was rounding up all the days before. He has gone from an absolute bonanza of does, probably thought it was going to be the orgy of the century, and now he's just standing there all by himself. They have all pissed off. Every other single deer has ran over to the right. Now we probably got busted by a few behind us because of the breeze, but down underneath us, no breeze. We've got no reason why those animals ran away at all. Wow, I don't know what to say to that. I've never seen anything like that before. They haven't been driven over here. They haven't been scared. They're all happy and mewing on the way over. Milled around down there for five minutes. All gone.
What we've found is, down beneath us, there's some contract fences. They've got a radio and a post hole driver. It's pushing these deer from gully to gully. This is a free range hunt. We're not in a fenced property, if anyone's wondering about that. There's just a lot of deer here. So what we've done, set up a little bit of a hide. We put a few logs up, branches. This one's got a custom camera holder. My mate, he's tucked over in on that side. We're just gonna sit here until it gets dark. We've got a few hours to wait. See if anything decent filters past. I always get asked what rifle I'm using this trip. It's my 3006 Custom Tika T3. Fluted barrel, fluted bolt. It's in a Southport Labs carbon fibre stock. It's about 7.2 pounds. Loaded Swarovski Z5 2.5 to 12 by 50 scope. Running 178 grain ELD X projectiles. I was going to give my mate a huge thank you for the invite out on this trip. Commonly known as Bucket for his little stint with a KFC thing on his head. But he's asleep, so I can't really thank him much. It's just about snoring. I think he was snoring yesterday. He woke himself up. He snored that heavy. It's a hoodie. I'm just about out of light, so I think we'll call that a wrap. I have had the most amazing week. I've never hunted deer in the rut like this. Each day we've probably glassed a minimum of 20 quality barks and countless spikers. We've seen hundreds of does. It's certainly a phenomenal area. Huge thank you to my mate who I've spent a lot of this week with. He doesn't wish to be named, but I know who you are. If you did like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Ensure you subscribe to the channel with the bell icon on. A huge thank you to all the people that support me on Patreon. Please have a look at that. Trips like this aren't possible without that kind of support. I'm running expensive camera gear and the time to edit all of this stuff. And those guys, well, they're the ones that prop all this up. Anyway, I'll see everyone next time. Sorry guys, it's pissing down raining. We've just had a big thunderstorm roll in. The cameras are going away. We've just walked over a roll with rifles on our backs. Probably not the most safest feeling, but I'm gonna put the camera away and head down this slope with the rifle and the binos while the fellas are still croaking for us.